Here we have find the equation of a line that satisfies given conditions, such as passing through a point, negative 3, 9 halves here, and a y-intercept at y equals 0. Now we like y-intercept form of a line looks like this, okay? And the y-intercept, or I'm sorry, slope intercept form is its name because when you look at it, you can quickly identify the slope and the y-intercept coordinate, right? So because of that, we might try to use the information given and see if we can insert it here anywhere. So I have y equals, now was I given a slope? No, right? But I was given the y-intercept. So at least I have that part of it. And notice that it is 0. So this is going to simplify to simply y equals some slope times x. Now we do need to find the slope, so how are we going to do that? Normally you would have two sets of points, right? An x1 and y1 ordered pair, and an x2 and y2 ordered pair to plug into this formula. Now do we have that? Well, we certainly have x1 and y1, but we need a second point. Now they did give us the y-intercept, which is the y-coordinate of a point on the graph. So we can insert 0 for the y-coordinate. Now what should go in the place of x? Well, if it's on the y-axis, x is 0. So we do have two points that we can use to find this. Okay, so far I've put in 9 halves for the uh, one of the y values and 0 for the other y value. Then I'm going to put in the negative 3 for one of the x values. And notice that I'm just making sure that where I put the y coordinate, I lined up the corresponding x coordinate underneath it. And now I'm going to put in the other pair value, the x value that pairs with the y value of 0. And when we simplify this, what do we end up getting? We get 9 halves divided by negative 3. So now all we need to do is simplify 9 halves divided by negative 3 and insert that slope right here. So uh, how do you do that? How do you calculate 9 halves divided by 3? Well, one thing you can do is in the calculator, you can calculate 9 halves to get 4.5 and then you can divide that by negative 3 to get negative 1.5. We have the answer here in decimal form, but we also should know how to do this as a fraction. m equals 9 halves divided by negative 3. Now, if we put a little 1 underneath the negative 3, then it'll look like a fraction divided by a fraction. And if you remember keep, change, flip, you would just take the first fraction and keep it the same, then change from division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction upside down. Then multiply straight across to get 9 over negative 6. Or you might notice that you can divide negative 3 into 9 to get negative 3. And then you would be left with negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And 2 times 1 is, is 2, so that would be negative 3 over 2. You could also just reduce it at the end. So notice that both 9 and 6 are divisible by 3. So if I divide each of those by 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. So another way to write your answer is just to say y is equal to negative 3 halves times x.